Okay, so I got the bottle and uh, I think we're ready to get the rest of the eggs. We'll wait, no, not quite yet. It's a quick piece of heart we can grab now. And it's right down here. In order to get this piece of heart, you just have to kill like like. But, you know, be careful because the rapids are kind of pulling you in. And I failed there. Friggin' dirtbag. And I failed again. And again. <laughs> I just decided to use the barrier. Okay, that works. So, now we're done with that little... Whoa. Okay. We're done with that little pit stop, so... Now I think we're ready for the eggs. Now that we have four balls, uh... It doesn't really matter where you go, Pinnacle Rock or the Fortress. Even though I guess we already got one egg from the Fortress, so... It's three and three. And I guess I'm so lazy I have to teleport to the Great Bay Coast. Okay. So take your pick. Pinnacle Rock or the Fortress. Doesn't matter. I guess if you only have three bottles still and you have the seahorse, I'd recommend going to Pinnacle Rock first so you don't have to make another trip to the fortress, but again, up to you. For the purpose, or for this walkthrough, we're going to go to uh, the fortress again. Pinnacle Rock comes later. And now that we have uh, the hookshot, we can get into the fortress a lot easier. Freaking dirtbag fish kept me from getting on that boat. Unfortunately, you cannot uh, knock out these uh, guards. By the way, that was the upgraded uh, spin attack that you got from the Woodfall Great Fairy. Blue you get as soon as you get the magic bar, and brown is what you get from the fairy. I don't know if it does any more damage or... Um, what, but it definitely has an increased area. Of effect, of course. Hut, 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 hut. Try. Okay, I'll stop. So, uh, before you head into the fortress the second time, make sure you're prepared, because this time you're going to have to fight a couple guards. And they, they aren't really tough, they're just, if anything, they're annoying, because they block a lot. But it really isn't too bad. J just do what I do, and that's spam your sword attack constantly, and you probably will be just fine. Again, if you have the stone mask, you can literally just walk right through these areas. No worries about stealth. Salt snake. Salt link. 
Okay, so here's the first card. So, yeah, I just keep stabbing her. And three hits was that? I guess it was three hits, and that's it. And as far as I'm aware, they don't have any special spin attack where they kind of uh, knock you out of, or automatically send you to prison like they did in Ocarina of Time. I think. So... This is an interesting enemy. You only see him a few times throughout the game. I think there's just money in this chest. We'll find out. Yep. Okay. Two more to go. So, we want to go up the same area again, except this time we go the other way, and I, I guess we had to hit that lady. Guard. Um, okay. So, this is where we were before, but we want to go one step further now. dirt bag. So this chest I think contains 100 rupees so go ahead and pick that up if you need it. And keep moving forward. Easy. Here's the next egg. This time protected by whatever those things are called. pretty close. And I, was, I successfully blocked it. Awesome. Alright, one more egg to go, and I think this one's on the other side of the fortress now. And yes, this is absolutely necessary. It's what Solid Snake would do. Another simple room. And another simple fight. Halt. Guess this one takes four hits? 
Eh, whatever. And the last one in the fortress is protected by one of those things again. So now that we got everything in the fortress, we can just head on out, get caught, go out the normal way, whatever you want to do. It's faster to probably just get caught, but, you know, whatever. Oh, Song of Soaring. Even better. So, obviously you'll want to drop off the eggs you've gotten into the aquarium. I guess that spot's not good enough. Alright, there we go. 